Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. This is a whiskey that I found after having tried looking for it. This is like a, about a year. We don't usually do shoots this this early in the morning. No, we it's don't. always morning this shoots. Is, this is early. It's always morning shoots. Yeah. This is like our schedules are getting complicated because summer and kids and family trips. Yeah. Yeah. So this one was like, hey, either we shoot now or we don't shoot again for two weeks. And we're not that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift from Magnificent Bastard, Desiree Ingalls. Desiree Ingalls, you magnificent bastard. Hi. This is a whiskey from uh, uh, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm-hmm. No, oh, is it MGP? Yeah. I don't actually know. Oh. So, well, if, these guys... If you're from Indiana and you're making whiskey and you are not just making all types of noise about how it's not MGP I and you think, made it, then it's probably... I think it is, because they have... It's West Fork Distillery, and they have a whole line of West Fork branded stuff that they talk about, grain and glass, grain and glass, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And then this line is called the Hamer Series, mm -hmm. and they don't. Ah. Yeah. So I think this is MGP, but it's double oaked. And when I looked up what they meant by that, they said they took it from its barrel and put it back into a new oak barrel again. Okay. Which these days wow. would be risky because that's expensive finding new oak barrels. Yeah, yeah. And, and to gonna, use it just as a finishing you're gonna barrel. Double down on tannin and probably vanilla. And you're going to lose a new oak barrel for a real product. Yeah, so interesting. Okay. Uh, four barrels in this batch. This is batch 001. Woo, yeah. That is, is tannin and vanilla. <laughs> that is woody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people love that note, though. This could be right up their alley. It is um, so vanilla. Yeah. So vanilla that it's like marshmallow almost. Yeah, that, that. Are you getting that? For me, if you're looking for a sweet note that is a telltale sign of a new oak barrel, it's that vanilla note. That vanilla note yeah, with the oakiness. it's not just vanilla. Like, I think I'm getting a, I think I'm getting a candy corn shoved inside of a marshmallow. Yeah, you know what those um, frontier themed theme parks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind of what, what you're doing. Or you can watch candy. like a shootout at one of the, yeah, yeah everyone's Silver Dollar the City in the Ozarks, <laughs> this is where you are. Yeah, some guy falls from a balcony from a breakaway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is our, you're out in the woods, but there's a candy shop. Yeah. That's what it is. It does kind of smell like the candy store in Galveston. Okay. You were you recently that there. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been there since last year. Yeah. But, like, have you been to it? Mm, it's been years. If you roam around the main town of yeah, Galveston, yeah. or the tourist part by the ocean, mm -hmm. there's, like, a, I don't know, it's got to be, like, a like a 20,000 square foot candy store <laughs> with wood floors, and the yeah. building dates back to the, eight, you know, post, well, not 1800s, because post-hurricane. Yeah. But... Yeah. The, I, last time I was in Galveston, it was weird because between our hotel and that spot, there was like a bunch of police boats and search parties. Oh, God. Some guy got drunk on a sailboat. Oh, no. Fell off. Everybody else was drunk. And they were probably a quarter of a mile out from the shoreline. Oh, Jesus. Or you could still see them really clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, never, so you're like, hey, kids, go swim. Never found his ass. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yay, Galveston. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking on the beach. <laughs> well, it was a sailboat. Yeah. It's no Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you love those notes, though, like those American whiskey, new oak, vanilla, wood. Yeah, this is oaky, doubling down tannin, on all of it. This could be like a, a really, really game changing whiskey but for you. I don't know what this is, but the corn is through the roof. Yeah. That candy corn note is through the ceiling. It is a little hard to tell if it is MGP by the time they put it into another new oak barrel. Yeah. It's escalating some things, which throws it off the typical Still haven't MGP. drank it. I, mean, I think we should probably Throws it off the typical MGP profile. Mm. Oh, I kind of like it. Yeah. That's definitely MGP. You can you, taste it. You think? Yeah. Yeah, you can the, taste there's that escalated, amped up vanilla note. Yeah, that is just dominating, man. It's creamy vanilla just pouring over all of this wood. For me, there's this thing that happens when I drink an MGP these days. Hmm? You ever? Um, oh, oh, maybe I'm finding it on the finish. That that feels more familiar. On don't the overthink it. So don't try to analyze the notes that you're getting. Analyze the sort of impression, like like watching a Monet or looking at a Monet painting. The, there's this sort of. If you drink a Dr. Pepper, the difference between Coke and Dr. Pepper, Coke has this sharp sweetness up front and then it's all prickly. Yeah. Then you drink a Dr. Pepper and it's sweet and then has that prickly. Pruny, like three, pruny yeah. sweet, yeah. That, so that okay. little curl. I'm not going to think about it. Ready? Yeah. 
Is it just going to dribble out the side of your mouth? <laughs> well, now I'm not going to. Now I'm not going to. Because then it would have been predictable. Daniel. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. You're welcome. <laughs> Save my shirt. Fun. I did, yeah. You're going to have to wear that the rest of the day. So I'm just looking out for you. Um, no, it's got that, like, sweet start and then this, like, for lack of a better, that not a tasting word, but our previous video, call me. Yeah, <laughs> good luck one, with that. This is what happens when you get a 9 a.m. video series. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, no, no, say with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, right? come on, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I like it too. I think um, I could. I mean, like. I, I really like the like hell it, out of actually. it. Actually, yeah. I mean, I would put that up with any of our Eleanor releases that I really enjoy. Yeah, you gotta, you got to be. I mean, from a maker's perspective, you got to be comfortable committing a new oak barrel. That's and that's real. It wasn't maybe at the time they did it, right? But it sure as hell is now. Yeah. Like getting your hands on new oak is is hard and costly. Oh, you would think. No, but then that would make me have to practice. <laughs> I don't want to come up here and spend my days getting good at this. <laughs> you go back to the nose, and it's a um, very tanniny, mm -hmm. a black tea over steep tea bag. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of the nose. It's interesting and it's rich, mm -hmm. but I really love the palate. It drinks delicious. Mm. It's immediately thick. Yeah, it's like a big full. Meaty sack. I was full prepared. Of flavors. I was prepared to be bored with this, and I'm not. Well, neither am I. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Hamer. Interesting. But maybe maybe they're not doing MGP. This is far enough away. This typical MGP profile. No. Maybe they're doing something like kind of similar. I I I think it is. Which mash bill? High corn. High corn. Uh, not the high rye. No. Okay. Whatever the highest corn they have that's still a bourbon. And I don't know what that is. Mm. Um, yeah, that's my guess. We've got the JJ9363. How do you live in Texas and not eat breakfast tacos? Eggs are disgusting. Yeah, 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 but breakfast tacos eggs. are a category. Is there any breakfast taco you would eat and still consider it breakfast? Anything without eggs. Yeah. Do you so like the freaking vegan, the black bean and pico and it's okay. avocado? It's okay. How about uh, it's very mushy with all of those beans. Yeah, so it is. Uh, basically, this is look here. I, I eat them all the time. I just say leave off the eggs, put on more like potatoes or something else that's in the yeah, taco. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I've got one for you, right? Mm. There's this um, like they Mexican smell like farts, chicken embryos <laughs> that a chicken uh. craps out, and then you cook it and it smells like farts, it's and then it has the eggs. texture. I don't think he's of, defending eggs. He's defending breakfast. No, tacos. I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast tacos, like the default state of a breakfast taco. It's a beautiful idea, it's a beautiful concept, but ruined by eggs. The entire breakfast cuisine, really. You go to a restaurant, 90% of their shit has eggs in it. Go ahead. It's like a third of all of the meals that I should supposedly have access to, I don't, because one of these meals is just infested with eggs. Go ahead. Your head <laughs> looks like an egg. I'm it really bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blinking out a message right now. It's trying to it's a cry for help. The, uh, there's this thing in the store called fava. It's, it's based off of fava beans, but it's in the vegan section, and it's like Mexican crumbles. Yeah. And it's basically just this elaborate Mexican spice holder. So like it's a material the, that holds Mexican spice. Silence of the Lambs really did ruin fava beans. Because fa really I can't hear fava beans fava without beans. thinking of Chianti. Oh, God. All right, go. So anyway, it's this Mexican crumble. And I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll saute uh, onion and garlic, throw in black beans, yeah. add in this fava and like char it. And so it's all crumbly. Mm -hmm. And then you put that in a taco. And then here's the two magic parts to it. Chianti? No, you make those little, from Trader Joe's, you can get those little uh, hash browns. Oh, oh. That look like McDonald's hash browns. Those are the ones, man. They're so f good. Yeah, yeah. And you cook them t twice as long as the package says. Yeah. So they're crunchy. Yeah. You, and then you break them into pieces and you put them into the taco. Mm -hmm. So you get that crunchy hash brown mill. Yeah, oh, that's good. And then you take that flour tortilla yeah. and fold it in half, not roll it, fold it in half. Yeah. And Pan fry it, oh. so the so even the tortilla is crispy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's really good. good. It does, good. Take, takes like fifteen minutes, huh. but you get these like crunchy tortilla, crunchy and yeah, it's so and good. And no eggs. Yeah, no eggs. Oh, I put pico in there too. Of course, 
I mean, he didn't have to say that. That's true. That Any self-respecting. That was understood. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Zachary Powell 700, I bought this bottle today and I'm still working on my first glass after my first sip. I immediately texted my coworker about it and I was, and I was said, it tastes like caramel sweet cornflake cereal and a weird plasticky taste. <laughs> and I thought that sounded crazy so I YouTube some reviews, I ran across this one first and it made me feel way better no, about my taste buds. We said the same thing. <laughs> oh, it tastes basically. like the cereal? No, we just said the same with that plasticky note and oh, some of the, yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, basically he had something he thought was crazy and he went on YouTube to try to find out if he was crazy. Right. And it turns out he is crazy yes. <laughs> because he agreed with us. In the best <laughs> kind of way. <laughs> um, you know what? I was so buckled up for a Man. wah wah. Yeah. I was buckled up for a wah wah. It's yeah. not a wah wah, it's a oh. No, it's a oh. Yeah, no wah wah. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I'll fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver, sir. Uh, if you drink, now you, you drink, drink with us. us.